the reason I get paid. So will you please provide your license, registration, and insurance, ma'am? Will you please provide me with your ID, ma'am? This is not a traffic stop, and you're not issuing a citation. Ma'am, so you're still as cooperative as you've always been, right, ma'am? Yep. Wonderful. Welcome back to the Lackluster Channel. Eight months ago, I published a story about Kendra Owens. For reference, here's a recap of that encounter. I can't have you standing right here, ma'am. This is public sidewalk. You're interfering with the investigation, ma'am. All right, go ahead. Go ahead. Have a nice day, Mr. Kendra. Kendra Owen was driving for Uber and had marked herself as available. She watched videos on her phone with the engine running and had parked near downtown Evansville in Indiana to wait for a customer. When Officer Matt Taylor parked behind Kendra and 30 seconds later activated his emergency lights, Officer Taylor then ran her plates, despite Kendra having parked legally. Do you have your driver's license? Yes, I do. Okay. I'm parked. Yes, ma'am. You're also parked outside of a bank with your vehicle running and just kind of random, so just checking on the area. I'm fine, thank Okay. You. Do you have your license on you, please? This is not a traffic stop. Okay. Do you have your license? No, ma'am, it's an investigatory stop. Okay, whatever. Do you think? Can I see your license, please? And actually, you're operating a motor vehicle, so I can ask for your license, registration, and insurance. You're sitting in the driver's seat yeah. for the vehicle? Yes, ma'am. And if everything is okay, I will send you on your way, and just, but at the same time, I'm going to check on you. That's the reason I get paid, so will you please provide your license, registration, and insurance, ma'am? I am parked. This is not a trap. Ma'am, under Indiana law, if you're in the driver's seat and the vehicle's operating, it is considered operating a motor vehicle. So please, will you provide your driver's license, registration, and insurance? If we don't want to do that, then I can ask you to step out of the vehicle, because under state law, I'm allowed to do that. Officer Taylor's assertion is correct. If only this had been a lawful traffic stop. However, an officer cannot detain you and demand your ID just because you are legally parked or operating a vehicle. There is also nothing illegal or even suspicious about parking in front of a bank. And despite his assertion, at no point did Officer Taylor inquire as to why Miss Owens was parked there. Officer Taylor now orders Kendra out of her vehicle and unlawfully pats her down. Will you please provide me with your ID, ma'am? Sam 31, start me another car, please. Do me a favor, turn around and face the vehicle for me, please. Oh, sorry. Turn around and face the vehicle, put your hands on the vehicle. Everything else going to poke me, hurt me, stick me, anything like that. Okay. Step to the back of the vehicle, please. What is your name, ma'am? I'm not getting an ID. I was legally parked on a public street. <clears throat> is the vehicle registered to you, ma'am? Yes, it is. Can I have your name, please? No. Give me a favor, have a seat right there on the curb for me. Well, I can't sit out, but I'm happy to do this. That's the best I can do. Do you have insurance for the vehicle, ma'am? Sorry? Do you have insurance for the vehicle, ma'am? Yes, I do. Dispatch told the officer that the registered owner of the vehicle was Miss Owen and that there was an alert on her because she was a First Amendment auditor and had been seen acting suspiciously at various locations in 2017 and 2018, and that during those occasions several years ago, she refused to identify and was uncooperative. Just ma'am, she's still that way. Can you run 738 David Tom Lincoln for me, please? I'm clear. Do me a favor, just stay right there for me, okay? Who's your insurance through, ma'am? Very. Who's your insurance through, ma'am? State Farm. State Farm? Okay, is it in the vehicle? Proof of insurance? It's on my phone. It's on your phone? Is your phone in the vehicle? Yes. Okay. Where's it at? I'll get your phone for you and you can show me proof of insurance, ma'am. This is not a traffic stop and you're not issuing a citation. Ma'am, I've gone through this before. Either A, you can provide proof of insurance or I will tow the vehicle and drive you. What infraction do you suspect me of committing? I was legally parked on a public street. Ma'am, your vehicle was operating. You were in the driver's seat. Therefore, I can ask you for a license, registration, and insurance. Officer Matt Taylor now enters Kendra's vehicle to retrieve her cell phone without consent or lawful authority to do so. So you're still as cooperative as you've always been, right ma'am? Yep. Wonderful. 
Officer Taylor turns off his body cam for about 10 minutes. When it is reactivated, he has for some reason decided to tow Kendra's vehicle and thoroughly searches through the car for an inventory. None of the other officers on scene put an end to the unlawful detention, search, or seizure of Kendra or her property. In fact, they assist Officer Taylor. You see anything? That's a weapon. I got the pepper spray that way. I'll give her a chance to come get her property if she wants. And of course, the unlawful search turns up nothing, though Kendra had proof of insurance on her phone. And despite Officer Taylor never witnessing her operate the vehicle, he wrote her a citation for operating a vehicle without proof of responsibility. Hey, what's my ticket for? Ticket is for operating a motor vehicle without insurance. We have a court date up. I'm sorry? All right. Do you have any questions, ma'am? No. Okay. Have a nice day, Mr. Be careful, ma'am. After the vehicle was towed, the officers left Kendra alone in 24 degree weather with no coat as she waited for 40 minutes for her son to pick her up. There you go, ma'am. This is information about the tow fee. I'll tow, so you are. <laughs> Have a good day, ma'am. Somebody will be paying the tow. Okay. I need you to leave the area, ma'am. Ma'am, if you want, you can go over into that parking lot or you can go back over there, but I can't have you standing right here, ma'am. This is public sidewalk. Walk my ass up. You can walk over there, ma'am, or you can walk I'm over there. I'm not going anywhere. I am standing on public sidewalk. You're also interfering, you're interfering with the investigation, ma'am. All right, go ahead. Go ahead. I'm game. Go for it. In for a penny, in for a pound. You might as well go for it. Okay. Have a nice day. I will, thank you, ma'am. Do you have somebody coming to get you? Yes, I do. Goodbye. Wonderful. Oh, I'll stay right here. I won't wait till the vehicle gets towed, ma'am. The next day, she paid $235 to retrieve her vehicle. Shortly after, the Vandenberg County prosecutor dismissed the citation. A lawsuit was filed by the ACLU on March 16th of 2023, prompting the department to release this body cam on Facebook. In the post, the department declares that they support the officer's actions. Worse yet are the scores of people commenting that they also have no clue about their own individual rights. They should be pleased to find out that the city paid out almost immediately after defending their officer's actions. Recording. Thanks, gentlemen. The city asked for a settlement conference very quickly, and in August of 2023, just a few months after the incident, the city paid Kendra about $1,000 per minute to train the three officers on scene. However, it appears that they didn't learn much as afterwards, the attorney for Officer Taylor and the city of Evansville says that the department and city fully stand behind Officer Taylor, and this isn't the first time the officer was sued. He was previously named in a lawsuit that claimed that officers used excessive, unjustified force that led to a man's death. Body cam video from the night Edward Snook has died. Officers were called to Division Street for a man who appeared to be intoxicated. When they arrived, they found Snook is wandering the street. Officers attempted to make an arrest, but there was a struggle and chase. Snook is was tased more than once. He became unresponsive after being handcuffed in the lawsuit. The family claims officers used excessive and unjustified force. I'm pretty confident of the allegations in the complaint being supported by facts. The city of Evansville failed to provide adequate training to its officers on the use of force and failed to investigate the officers involved in this case. An internal investigation by EPD reports no wrongdoings. 44 News reached out to both EPD and the city attorney's office. We're still waiting on a response. That lawsuit continues now over four years later. And perhaps when that lawsuit finally goes to trial, I'll bring news about it then. Let me know what you think about this interaction in the comments down below. And if you like this investigation, check out one of the other ones linked on screen.